Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. I'm hanging out here with Sean Michael this morning. The other kids are playing in the background. Morning, baby. Hi, buddy. This guy slept pretty decent last night, so I'm feeling just, you know, in better spirits today. So I'm gonna film just a regular day in the life, just hang out with us here, home with the kids. Every time he sees the camera now, he wants to like crawl towards it. Are you gonna crawl towards it? So you can see just how mobile he is. Go. You want to? All right, awesome. So you're like a lot crawling now. Love that for me. So yeah, that was the mat over there. That is him in two seconds. So I can't leave him unattended anymore. So I need to figure out a situation where either I open up the pack and play to contain him or I look to get like a little gate or something because he's on the move. What's up, bud? I love this little outfit I put him in. It's from Target and it's just like the coziest little two-piece little jumper set. And then this color on him looks so pretty. Hey, good morning. You want to go eat some breakfast? Yeah. So yeah, we've got lots to do, lots that I can chat with you guys about, like things that we've been up to. I still have to do school with the kids, like always. Like, it's kind of like the same thing. I have like my main things that I need to tackle, like making sure that I know what we're going to make for dinner, doing school, doing Bible time. Like I have like my priorities and then everything else that I can tackle. I have like a list on my phone. I'm going to try to get to it. Like I want to try to vacuum and mop the stairs, a couple like house things. But then I've also excitingly gotten some new like house things for upstairs. I got some new rugs. I got a new mirror for my room. So I wanted to show you in a little bit when we go back upstairs what that looks like see the kids are over here and they've been playing nicely this morning we also have to have breakfast good morning Riley good morning. what are your bears hanging out I think she said that her bears their bears were having a play date so that's what they're pretend playing over here all the stuffed animals look Mickey is on the pack of Legos this child over here is sitting to have breakfast Wow so four babies are having a play date nice so since the kids are entertained, I'm gonna make Sean his breakfast. This is something that he's had a couple times before, but I want him to like get more used to eating yogurt. He sometimes has like purees, like some of like the um, dried baby food crazy. breakfast. That's crazy, you used to eat this too. Eat. But this is like another breakfast option. So I just put like a little bit of yogurt. He's not even eating that much. And then I put a little bit of peanut butter. So just like a little bit of peanut butter and I mix it up. Remember, babies under one, they can't have honey yet. Normally when I make my own yogurt like this, I put honey. But I just put a little bit like that and then I mix it up. And so far, he's eaten that pretty well. As he gets like a little older and a little more used to eating like his solids, I could do like a fruit with this. I could do like some banana or some chopped up strawberries. But right now we're keeping it just like very basic, like not a lot of food. And look how big he looks. <laughs> Sitting in his high chair, I could not. He looks too cute. And then we always have like a million toys up here to entertain him. But I've got to put a bib on you, dude. I need to buy some more bibs. These are just like old ones that I found that aren't the best because he gets them ruined every time he has breakfast. But let's see how you do. Okay, you're gonna have to take that out of your mouth in order to eat your breakfast. Look, 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 look. Yum. Do you like that? Is that tasty? <laughs> Not really sure. His favorite stuff to eat so far is like the stuff with the fruits, obviously. But he's had like purees with chicken in it and like purees with chicken and sweet potato. So some hearty meals and then also like the sweet stuff. Hey, dude! Why are you laughing at your brother? Because it's just funny. What's funny? It's just funny because he puts his stuff in the mouth. Yeah? Yeah. He's supposed to be eating his breakfast, is what he's supposed to be doing. Remember I used to have to feed you like this when you were a little baby? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want me to still feed you like a baby? No. No? What are you getting for breakfast? Strawberries, maybe. Strawberries, watermelon. Strawberries and watermelon? <laughs> you can't just have fruit. Oh. Strawberries. 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 Mm-hmm. Uncrustable. An uncrustable? Yeah. For breakfast? Yeah. That's the only thing I want. That's it? Yeah, I just want two things. Just two th yeah. things. Things. Very good. So we're still working on his speech, but he's doing good. Hey buddy, this guy's getting so sleepy. I have to take him down for a nap in a minute, but we're gonna try to eat breakfast. So I was just gonna show you really quick what all of our breakfast is. So this is mine. I cleaned out my pantry of like random stuff. So we had sausage, a hard boiled egg, Breakfast potatoes, an orange. Jackson is eating cantaloupe and data toast, which is like toast with butter and cinnamon sugar. But he really likes these yogurts that I bought from that Costco haul that I filmed the other day. 
So he has that with a little bit of granola. And then Riley over here is having her own version of that, like different fruit, because she doesn't like cantaloupe, and then just the animals. So we'll start with that, and then in a little while we'll have a snack. Okay. All right, so it is a little later. Sean is sleeping. Finally got him down. He was really sleepy, but then he fought me a little bit. But it's like 10, 15, and this is his first nap of the day. So hopefully it's at least an hour. It gives me some time to do stuff. I was also listening to, like, the good thing about his nap is what I do is, like, I put my headphones on and then, like, I'll listen to something. So this morning, I've been doing that Pray 40 on Halo, on the Halo app that I've told you guys about for Lent. And it's been really good because it's got Jonathan Rumi, that's, like, the actor that plays Jesus in The Chosen. And it's just been very peaceful and relaxing and focusing a lot, surprisingly, on that topic that I talked about in, um, like, my faith video that some of you guys watched. So I feel like it's just, like, in tune with, like, where I'm at right now in this point in my life. So I've been really enjoying it. If you guys are still looking for something to do for Lent, you can just, like, download the Halo app. But anyway, I finished listening to that. I'm going to be working on some bread now, you guys. And you guys can kind of, like, do some of it with me. So I have two... Oh dear. So this um, dough here, Riley helped me with last night. So it, you know, it actually doesn't look as good as it's supposed to because we also left it overnight on the counter. And I'm not sure, honestly, how this one's gonna turn out. But we will try. We'll try to revive it. This was supposed to be like a shaggy dough, and wasn't properly combined but that it's okay that's how you're gonna learn okay so that was you know her helping me and that's just how we're gonna learn i want her to like start learning about dough and learning about bread but sometimes it's not gonna turn out so this might be a little bit of a fail it's okay if it's a fail it's okay if it's a fail we'll still try to bake it anyway what can i do to revive this this was supposed to be like my easy artisan loaf that I do. I really don't even know if there's anything that I can do to revive it. If I put more water on it, maybe I'll put a little bit more water just so that I can combine it a little bit better. But this is that um, loaf that I do that's not sourdough. So if you don't have a sourdough starter, you don't need it. And I'll try to link the recipe for you guys if I can remember in case you want to try it the proper way. This is, I don't know if this is going to turn out good, honestly. We'll try, but it's likely going to be a fail. So I'm going to just let this sit out. We'll just let it sit out for a little bit. Okay, so hopefully this one will be better. I'm trying my first time to make focaccia. Is that how you say it? I've seen so many people share recipes of it. So this was just a bowl of the dough that I mixed. Again, I'll leave the recipe down below too if you want to try it. Hopefully it turns out good. But it's really easy. Like I combined all the ingredients last night and then I covered it and I put it in the fridge. And then this is what it looks like right now. It has like a little bit of olive oil drizzled on top. But the recipe says that we have to like lay it on the counter on parchment paper for two to four hours, room temperature. I've never made this, so I'm 1000% just trying it out. But I think like I was starting to say, I was excited to bake bread today because all of last week, I think maybe I baked one time, but we've been going out of the house more often. And so I don't have as many days why can I open this part of my paper? I don't have as many days where like I'm home to bake and to let my bread rise, which is, you know, a good thing. I'm glad that we've been going on adventures and stuff and the kids have had co-op and they've had um, little like nature hikes that we've been going on, which have been super fun. Oh, this is like a whole sheet. I didn't realize it. But if I'm out of the house, then obviously that leaves less time of me being in the kitchen to bake and to make things, to work on sourdough. So today was a day where I, we didn't have any plans to go anywhere. No one invited us to go do anything. I don't have any plans. So I was like, perfect, today is my bread day. And so when you usually have plans like to bake bread, normally what happens is you bake dough like in the evening like the day before and then the next morning is when you bake and you spend sometimes like that whole day like you know watching bread rise and stuff this one shouldn't take too long though okay i'm not sure what kind of like loaf pan or what kind of pan you bake this in so i'm gonna go with this one that i have hopefully that works i'm just gonna pour out this onto the parchment paper just gonna kind of let it lay flat here like that i don't know does this look does this look like focaccia i have no idea but we're just gonna let it kind of sit like this okay so we're gonna leave this to sit here put it here by the oven i'm gonna probably cover it two to four hours and then we'll come back to it later okay so we'll see how the bread turns out it's just still making me really happy being in the kitchen so we'll go back to that later. Now I think the next thing we're gonna do is school. So I'm gonna put you guys down for a bit. I'm gonna do school with the kids really fast and then we'll continue with the day. So, we need to first clear out the table.
Okay, so Riley is doing something like on her own right now. So I figured that I would work with Jackson on his letters. Originally, I was gonna have him sit down at the table and do some like paper stuff, but instead he didn't like seem to into it. So I said we could play with his little ABC trains. And it's been incredible to see him learning more letters, you guys. You know how long <laughs> we've worked towards this? Which one comes next? F. E and F. So in case you've never seen these before, they're little magnetic trains with all the different letters. And now he's finally knowing so many more of his letters. So which one comes next? Where's G? G. That one's not G. G's one of the ones that he doesn't really know. This one is G. Wait, G is the purple? Mm-hmm. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H. Let's find H. Look at it and say H. 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 Now where is I? You know I. I. There it is. Good job. J for Jackson. J for Jackson. Where's J for Jackson? J for Jackson. So I'm gonna work with him on the rest of the alphabet, but these I'll link for you guys in case you wanna get them for your little ones because it's one of the ways that we've got him to like play like this and learn through play. Good job, M, L, M. Go for M. M, N. P, this one is N. Okay. Okay. Which one's next? So we gotta put N. Q. We need Q. We need Q. Which one is Q? That's not Q. 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 A Q. Where's R? R. Do it slow. That's yes. like a snake. Y. Y and Z. <laughs> Good job. Now I know why A, B, C. Next time won't you sing with me? <laughs> Good job, buddy. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of numbers in the alphabet. A lot of letters in the alphabet. All right, we are done with school. I just took out that like failure of a loaf bread out of the oven. I tried to bake it and this is what it turned out like. So even though it was kind of a fail, I mean, it's still bread, it's still somewhat edible. So, I mean, not the prettiest looking thing and it's not like the same texture, it's a little harder than normal. It actually doesn't taste bad. Like if I were to put some butter on this, it doesn't taste bad. That's why I always encourage people, like if you make a loaf of something and it doesn't look exactly right or you've left it out a little longer, try to bake it anyway. The worst that happens is that you end up having to throw this away, but you would have thrown it away anyway. Um, how do you just throw it away in dough form? Sometimes it will surprise you and a lot of times like it's better than you thought it would be This is not what my bread normally looks like you guys have seen on Instagram what it normally turns out like but This was one of those cases where I let Riley help and it's my fault I should have like supervised better and I should have like checked it afterwards before going to bed But I got distracted but it still tastes pretty yummy. So I'm not terribly upset about that What I'll do is probably just slice this even though normally you should let your bread cool down, but I'm sure that they're gonna ask me for a piece. And like this, I have a couple pieces that they can dig into. It kind of tastes more like pretzel dough, if I'm being honest. I don't know what caused that to happen. Pretzel dough, I love pretzel. I know, exactly. You're not gonna be too mad. Can you taste it? Okay, be careful, because it's a little hot. What do you think? Is it good? Do you like it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, it's looking like Sean is up from his nap. He's up for an hour and 20 minutes, so that's a good nap. While I'm up here, I'm gonna show you guys the new rugs and stuff um, so you guys can see what those look like. So up here, like when you come up the stairs, we have this long hallway. And so I got this um, runner. This one I got from at home and I'll try to link them too for you guys. My mom helped me pick them out and I love it because it just like makes this little hallway here in between the rooms a lot like warmer and cozier. Let me get him and then I'll keep going. Because if not, he's going to scream. And he actually has a new rug too. Of course, his room is a mess, so. Hi, baby. Hello. How was that nap? Oh, turn on the lights. How are you? He's happy, you got a good rest. Hi. Where are you 
your feet, dude. Where are your feet? Hi there. Good morning. So of course, like worst day to show you because this is his room and it's a mess. But we got this rug and I love it. He's got a bunch of toys on the floor and all that clothes on the side is clothes that I need to put away. Like stuff that doesn't fit him anymore. So I'm working on that. But this rug is super pretty and it's super soft and fluffy and it's like that sage green. But I love that this rug is like nice and comfy and cushy. Um, and just makes the room like a lot cozier because for a long time it was just like very cold in here and then since it has like that sage green in it i ordered this throw from amazon and it just like gives it like a little bit of that cohesiveness with the color so this i was really happy with hey buddy so we have that we have the runner and then in the kids room again it's a mess but i got this rug at where did i get this one i got at home goods and i don't think i have a link for it but again, just something to put on the floor so that the room actually feels like cozier and not as cold with just the floor. And then in my room, I got this mirror. And I'm gonna show you from the side, but I'll show you in front too. I put up a mirror here in between my closet and my bathroom, and then I also got this rug. And there's still so much that has to be done in here. Like I need to get rid of that rocking chair and get rid of the bassinet because we obviously don't use it anymore. But this rug, I thought, was super pretty. And I'm hoping that the colors Kind of show up here on camera it's like a pretty like bluish greenish and it just makes the whole room look a little bit like earthier so that's kind of like what the bedroom is looking like i've got a bunch of sean's toys up here that i need to like get rid of but over here it finally looks like a bedroom it kind of feels that way and then this mirror i got for a hundred bucks i think it was like 99 dollars and so it's nice because now we can like get dressed and have like a nice mirror out here before the only mirror i had was inside my closet which is in those doors but now I finally have a place where I can take like selfie pictures and I can do like outfit pictures and I love it. So you can have it, I think they say like you can just have it on the floor or you can mount it. So Joe mounted it to the wall because I didn't want it falling on any of the kids. But I'm really happy with how that looks. And then in the future I want to change out our lamps because these lamps are super old. And then I want to get like artwork for above the bed. But this bedroom has come a long way before we even still had like boxes everywhere. So slowly but surely, it's starting to feel more like a room and that makes me happy. We have been in this house. Let's see, Sean is six months. What, we've been in here then like for eight months? Has that been like that long? It's eight, nine months, something like that. And so it's been awesome just to see little by little the progress that we're making and making it feel like a home. And I finally feel like this is a house that we can make a home and that we can make it feel homey because we don't have any intentions of leaving anytime soon like anywhere like here in miami the fact that we have a house is a miracle because there's nowhere to go like the house prices are absolutely insane so we will not be leaving this house for a while unless for some reason some weird odd reason we were to like completely leave miami so still lots of projects and it's like i told joe it's like a never-ending list of things that i'd like to get like um, I ordered finally like a diaper pail for Sean's room that we haven't had up until now and now he's starting to get super sticky diapers so I'm like we need to get a diaper pail and he ordered for his office like a trash can and I want to still get like those lamps like I said and then downstairs just there's more and more projects that I'd like to do but all of our projects you know they cost money so we have to do them little by little I think the next thing that I want to do is I want to get the kids like some white comforters for their bunk beds and then I want to work on our outside patio because I really want to be able to entertain more here in this house and one of the things that I'd like to do is be able to like take it outside and like have the kids be able to play so I want to get like a couch for outside and I know that that's going to be a little bit pricey so I'm just waiting for a good time to do that but just speaking of like how far we've come something that I didn't tell you guys because I haven't filmed since we did it but Joe and I finally went back to that restaurant the other day we went after church um my mom watched all the kids and Joe and I went on a little day date to the restaurant here in Miami where the last time we were there, that's where Joe told me like he was done having kids and he was like fine with two kids. He didn't see himself needing any more kids. And so the last memory I have of that restaurant is me sitting in a booth crying, sad, looking at all the pregnant people that were there because I was like devastated by that conversation. And I shared that whole bit in part of, you know, documenting the journey and stuff. So this time we went back, it was a much better experience and it was a full circle moment because this time we had Sean. And this time, you know, it wasn't the conversation about how we were done having two kids. It was more about like how faithful God has been and, you know, just changing 
his mind, his heart, and the fact that we now have another blessing because of it. So it was a good memory, and I'm so glad that we got to rewrite that memory, and now it can still be like my favorite restaurant without like that sadness involved. So for those of you who message me and who are always like sharing your stories with me about how you're in that same boat that I was in, you know, a couple years ago, or that you're dealing with anything like that, infertility, if you're dealing with, you know, you want another child and your husband is not into it, anything like that that's causing you just a lot of pain like know that i'm praying for you and i pray that you continue to pray and that you just give it to god and his will will be done and i know it's a lot easier said than done that way but when i was like i always remind you when i was going through that time my prayer wasn't please help me have a baby my prayer was if it's your will lord then help me to have another baby and if it's your will that we don't then help me be at peace with that like help me be at peace with that um whatever it is that you have in store for us then help me to accept it and hopefully that will give you a bit more peace because i can't imagine and i'm praying for you all and i love your faces so anyway we're gonna go downstairs i think i want to take the kids outside because um i got some new like outside toys for them to play with and i'm gonna unbox them and i'll share them with the kids they'll be so happy all right little man can we put you on your mat for just a second like i said i want to spend more time outside i want to be able to like send the kids outside to play and they've outgrown a lot of their toys out there so there are a couple things that i ordered for them tell me what you guys think i'm thinking about getting them a mud kitchen because I think that they would really like it. And Riley's gonna be like, yes, of course, get me a mud kitchen, right? My mom is all like, no, don't get them a mud kitchen. I don't approve, that's disgusting. But I think that the kids would like it to be able to like just play with the dirt, Do the grass. Do not listen to her. Do not listen to me. Because you're my mother and <laughs> you're going to buy it for me. Whatever, I'm thinking about getting one. Mimi if is not gonna be happy about it. your mother says no, yeah? just ignore her. Oh, okay, just ignore her. Okay, first thing, super simple thing. This is what I got from Amazon. I ordered some stuff from Amazon and some stuff from Walmart. I got this set of cones for the backyard because we need to get like some PE action going on here in this house. So we've got the cones and we've got the rings so we can do like ring toss. And then it also comes with a set of bean bags. So I thought we could like just set up obstacle courses, do little activities like they have to toss the ring in the cone or they have to like toss the bean bag into the ring. Do you like that Jackson? We're gonna do this outside and it'll just give us like some more stuff that we can do together as a family so i'm gonna take these things out there this was one of those random things that i'm sure you guys have seen like everywhere maybe five below has some super cheap this one wasn't like super expensive but it's that game that all of us i'm sure used to play check this like what is this the one where you throw the ball and it's velcro and you catch it on these things so you throw the ball, you catch it. I thought the kids could like take turns like playing together and I think there's two sets of these. So there's four ah. of like the catcher thing. You have to throw it and then you catch it on this. So you throw it, you see? I did it. You did it, good job. I see. So we'll take that outside so you guys can play. And then this is like a stalker goal thing, but we need to open this up outside. So let's go outside. All right, so we brought Sean's mat out here so he can play. Here's all your stuff. Wait, where are the rest of his toys, Jackson? So he can be out here with us. These were the kids' stepping stones that I bought. And look how pretty they are. I thought that they were really good quality, really nice looking. Like these are the ones that they sometimes have. Like we've seen these like at the libraries. They set them up for the kids to be able to play. You wanna set that up? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that now. But these are the step stones. So the kids look. can play like floor is lava. They can do obstacle courses with them. It's like a very big like Montessori kind of thing. There's like a lot of those Montessori companies that sell them, but I've seen some sets for like a hundred bucks. This one was $37, I think. So they can play with this. They can get creative with that. And I know that the kids will enjoy it. Because every time they used to have like a set, like I said, in the, in the library where we go to in Virginia. And every time that the kids would see that, they would spend like the whole time not reading the books, not doing anything, just stepping on those stones. And I don't know why that's such a fun activity there. This is like that soccer post goal thing. Okay, I have to inflate that better, but whatever. The kids have another little soccer ball. But now they have like a little goal thing here. And they can practice. Good job. You see? That's good. Get out of here. 
Nice. just out there the weather was perfect the kids love playing with their stuff so we're gonna do lunch and I'm also gonna try to get this in the oven so this right now is what it looks like so before I put it in the oven I have to put salt and I've got to put olive oil and have to put rosemary I wish I had fresh rosemary but I do not this is supposed to be very simple so I'm hoping that it'll turn out what I saw the girl do was just put a little bit of olive oil how much I'm not really sure and then we put a little bit of salt and then I have like this dried rosemary so I'm gonna put some of that maybe it gives it some flavor and then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like do like little indentation holes I think so I kind of saw them do something that looks like that I don't know maybe I'm totally messing this up but something that looks like this so I'm gonna put this in the oven and then when it comes out I will show you what it looks like and then we'll taste it and see if it tastes any good okay Sean is sleeping and I really want to try this it looks really good sounds crunchy I let it cool off for a little bit um, but I'm gonna just break off a piece I guess see if it tastes any good this is what the inside looks like so I mean I guess it's promising it looks promising Jackson right do you want to try this bread oh, okay Jackson you're always up for the bread let's see yummy it's yummy mom that is yummy I don't have a lot to compare it to because I've never made it myself but that was not a failure that was a success it tastes very good this is giving me um like flashbacks to like all the weekends that I spent at macaroni grill it gives me like the flavor of that bread they used to serve so this tonight at dinner with like olive oil and balsamic vinegar it's gonna be bomb <laughs> Okay. All right, it is a little later. This guy's up from his second nap. I was able to have lunch. Right now I set up the kids so that they could paint. So they're gonna have a little painting, arts and crafts kind of afternoon over here. So while they're there, I'm gonna try to um, I already vacuumed the stairs, but I'm gonna try to mop the stairs if I can get this guy content. I was in the kitchen and I was, you know, having my lunch and stuff, and I kept looking at that failure of a bread and it kept making me so sad. So I ended up thinking, okay, usually if you have bad bread or like stale bread or bread that you don't wanna like eat in bread form, you can sometimes like chop it up and make croutons. So I did that, I chopped it up, made it into like little squares, seasoned it, baked it, and I made croutons. But then even the croutons, <laughs> I felt like they just did not taste good. They were just like a bad consistency, kind of too hard and like they were gonna freaking break my teeth if I tried to eat them. So then I put them, bless you. So then I just decided to put them on the blender. I blended them up and I made breadcrumbs. So that was the journey of my bad loaf of bread. At least I ended up with some breadcrumbs and I will use them in a recipe here this week. And then that way I didn't have to like throw away the loaf and still got used. So that's just sometimes what you got to do and that's something that i learned over the last year because before i would have never thought to look at old bread and make croutons or make breadcrumbs so in case you didn't know you can do that he woke up so happy which means that he's gotten a lot of good rest today so let's see if he will stay maybe like in his bouncer in a little while and then i can mop that's kind of like the balance of my life these days is like 
you know, obviously making sure that I'm giving the big kids attention, making sure that the day is fun, doing school, making sure we're being fed, right? Feeding them, making meals for all day long. Also playing with this dude, making sure he has plenty of tummy time and time, you know, for him to develop. But then somehow with whatever little time that I have left or in between juggling things, multitasking, also trying to get some kind of cleaning done, some kind of house chore done. While I was in the kitchen, I was like wiping down the cabinets because they were pretty rough. So don't think that I've given up on like my cleaning craziness because I most definitely have not. I've been needing to deep clean my master bathroom for the longest time. I think that's probably gonna be like the next like deep clean video that I film if I get around to actually like taking out the camera when I do it. But I had to wait because Joe had to re-caulk our um, bathroom. Like the shower it was missing a bunch of caulk and there was like water that I was like scared was gonna be seeping through. And surprisingly, maybe not so surprising, like he's so handy. Like my husband is so handy. Like I married a good one because that's stuff that I would have never been able to do on my own or never would have attempted probably but we had some cock from home depot that we had bought when we first bought this house and he like went in there and he knew how to do it and he took the scraper and it was a success but i'm still on my quest for like finding a good cleaning rhythm cleaning schedule because there's just it's never ending it's never ending there's always 500 thousand things on my brain to do and then like you want to be present with them but then you also like don't want to go crazy and like looking at your dirty house and like for your mental sanity you want your house looking somewhat decent but then you're missing out on time with them like i just like you can't you can't win you just have to accept that some days are going to be more like focused on your kids and then other days are going to be maybe a little bit less focused but you still love them but you need to clean your house and then you balance it all out right not every day some days we go to co-op stuff we go and do fun activities and we play outside and then other days everybody's inside because i have to do 10 loads of laundry and he's been so good by the way in case i haven't told you guys he's been so good whenever we've been leaving the house lately Whenever we've been going on like our little co-op activities, we went to the farm. Did I tell you we went to like a little farm this past weekend with the kids co-op? We saw a bunch of animals and he went with me. I took all three kids by myself because Joe had something else this weekend. So he was in the baby carrier with me and we were looking at the monkeys. <laughs> we were looking at all the animals and he just is like along for the ride. So it's been really fun to just be able to take him and not feel like oh you know i can't do this because um you know i have a little one the only thing that i will tell you is that i am going to be leaving him with my mom this friday i'm going to be leaving him with my mom because the kids and i are going ice skating so with our co-op we ice coordinated <laughs> yeah we coordinated like an ice skating day with the kids the kids have never been ice skating i haven't been skating in years like so many years so i'm probably going to regret that decision but we're going to be going ice skating so for that i told my mom like hey i need you that day so you can watch sean so i can take the big kids ice skating and i'm really looking forward to having that like you know that time with the big kids so that is also on our agenda soon are you hungry what do you want to do boys play <laughs> you watching the big boys all right so it is much later and oh <laughs> he just got hit in the face <laughs> joe just got home and he's playing with jackson that ball catching game but jackson needs to work on <laughs> protecting his face <laughs> be gentle joseph I'm not throwing i know but be gentle with him he's got to work on his coordination skills you can get a little closer too, or just play like that, like bouncing it. I brought out Sean's little bouncer because like I didn't want to bring the huge mat out again. 
Hi, bud. So he's just been watching them play and he seems to like this thing. This is like what we needed. We needed like some outside stuff that we could play and like hang out as a family. Is that funny? Yeah. What? We're gonna be here hanging out, maybe playing a little bit and just relaxing, unwinding after a nice long day. The only thing I have left to do is this guy might go down for a last little cat nap and then I need to go inside and cook dinner, which isn't gonna be anything fancy, so that will be good. And then we'll just relax the rest of the night. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us. I feel like I did get some stuff accomplished. I mean, I checked off like everything on my to-do list except that I wanted to like post a reel on Instagram, but that was at the bottom of my list and priorities today. But everything else I did and makes me feel accomplished, feel happy. So thanks for hanging out with us and being a part of our day. I love your faces. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.